Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. Well, as you can see, I'm out here enjoying Melbourne's public holiday. It is Melbourne Cup Day, a day of the races, but naturally because of COVID, there's no people at the races, so I'm just outside here enjoying the sunshine in my hammock and I thought it is time for another book review. Now, I feel a bit awkward doing this review out on the hammock because well, the topic matter of this book just doesn't lend itself to be reviewed from a hammock simply because it is George Orwell's The Road to Wigan Pier. Have you read this book? Let me know if you have because I must admit this book even though it was written in 1936, 1937 so it was before the war it was as if I was reading something that could be very relevant today. Now George Orwell wrote this book back then and he split it up into two parts. The first part was recounting the life of a coal miner and the life of coal mining villages in Lancashire and Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. So he had travelled to Wigan Pier and we find out there is no pier in, in the town of Wigan. Um, there's a story there which I won't recount here. But anyway, Wigan is a uh, place in the UK so he goes he goes there and he basically tries to fit into the locals um, and pretends to be a coal miner himself and uh, gets to see, live, understand the very tough life of a coal miner. But on top of all this, he has this very human way of explaining it all, even though as we read this, it is very um, confronting in a sense of destitution, uh, extreme poverty, um, just yeah, destitution, poverty, um, gross, I wouldn't say neglect, but yeah, possibly neglect. Just the way people live, lived back then in coal mining towns was just unbelievable. Um, so this book is split into two parts. The first part, it recounts uh, the life of a coal miner and the life of living in these villages uh, and these very small, tiny coal mining shacks and how a flea ridden, um, uh, how they just had, um, just had very terrible living conditions. And as you read it, you can't help but feel kind of disgust but at the same time the way that he explains it is he's got a very human way to it that you kind of feel for the people and in actual fact you feel as if despite their hardships they were quite okay with things even though sitting here and reading it as a I guess a modern woman of the 21st century um, I would I would think to myself man they as a community, they didn't kind of bandy together and fight against the class system. Um, that they just kind of accepted their lot. But at the same time, you couldn't help but understand that they were actually victims of their own time as well. So, so that's the first half, which is all about the coal mining community. The second half is a long essay on socialism. And I love the second part as well. Um, some people would probably think, yeah, socialism, not for me. But as I kept reading this, the more I realised that, yes, um, this essay is very much for a time of today. It, yeah, it is a time for today. And it really made me think about a lot of things. And even back then, in the 1930s, people would just go up socialists as being the vegans and the sandal wearers he called them um, uh, yeah and even still to this day the way that um, socialists are being called out pretty much in the same way <laughs> so for me I really loved love love this book um, on Goodreads I gave it five stars and in actual fact um, I have started to explore I might just get all of George Orwell's writing I've got a lot of his books inside Animal Farm um, 984 I've got some of his essays on truth as well um, but something's telling me I've got to just go and buy the whole set his whole writing his whole book his whole outlook the fact that he um, immerses himself into 
the, the community that um, he wants to explore and he writes from the heart. Uh, he shows to me he must have been a very empathetic person to be able to do this, to actually immerse himself into the life um, of uh, and, and write about the things that he see that he saw. So that's it, the road to Wigan Pier. If you've read the book, let me know what you thought. I am going to go off and buy all of his books and read them with pleasure. All right, I am going to now stop this now and rest a bit. Okay then, bye for now. They're happy I finished too.